to help the local community enjoy warm water during the winter, this small workshop in Pakistan has begun producing electric water heaters in bulk. Here, an elderly craftsman is preparing the metal pipe that will form the outer shell of the water heater. The surface looks dull, tired, like a smartphone after three months without a case. But patience, transformation is coming. At another station, a worker cuts iron rods that will serve as connection terminals. These terminals link the heating coil to the power supply. The heating wire itself is formed into a spiral, extending its length and improving heat efficiency. After securing the wire to the terminals, one end is bent to make assembly easier. The coil slides into the tube, sealed with rubber caps. Then comes the secret ingredient, magnesium oxide powder. Not magic dust, but close. It transfers heat while insulating electricity, keeping the coil from touching the metal casing. Without it, this workshop would turn into a fireworks show faster than a 4th of July barbecue. Once the powder is packed and both ends are sealed, the element takes its final shape. The surface is then chrome-plated. After immersion in a chemical bath, the once dull tube becomes smooth, bright, and resistant to corrosion. At another station, cables are prepared. Their ends coated with plastic in a manual injection molding machine. Plastic pellets melt, then flow into a mold. First the inner core, then a second layer in blue, because looks matter, even for water heaters. By the end, what began as steel tubes and copper wires is reborn as a gleaming electric water heater, ready to bring warm showers in winter, comfort in the cold, and maybe even outperform your overpriced smart kettle that can connect to Wi-Fi.